Alright. Lead our civilians to an evacuation point. Which is going to involve lots and lots of killing of undead. Since they clearly aren't smart enough to get the hell out of our way. After we crushed that many of them. Including their big guys. In the people we've crushed. Come on. Well, there's some more undead. Let's get to it. Resident humans, time for you to die. And you can die a lot if I have anything to say about it. Also, good job so far, Vigil. We've definitely been seeing concrete successes thus far. Which is more than we probably could have said about whatever this doohickey and uh, those mages wanted to use would have done, because who knows if that thing would have even worked. We probably would have had a lot of dead people coming back if we had tried to use that rather than actual soldiers. Confer with the order reps in the Salma district. Alright, we will do that next. And I'm not actually inclined to stay around here and help them with holding this viewpoint because that's not the point of this Let's Play. Uh, I said this when I started this, I do believe, but my point here is the story. I want to show the story to people. So we're traveling to the waypoint now. So yes, that is the main reason for a lot of the seemingly bizarre things I'm doing in this Let's Play. I want to show people the story and experience it myself. I'm not much concerned about the other stuff, to be perfectly honest. <coughs> but we're back in our home district, which for Cora is going to be very nice to be home again. And the orders, what do they have to say to us? Uh, I like this guy's plan better. We need to know what the reason for what they're doing is. Not just decide to do thing, not just decide to kill them. We need to solve the long term issue.
Okay. Mm, this is a rather grim situation to be in. Save a few people now and just be temporarily <coughs> solving the problem. <coughs> or let them die and maybe solve it for good if we gain information. Not the best of situations to be in. charging into battle if you don't know what you're up against. <coughs> well, I actually think I'm going to go with the Order of Whispers because I'm just one person and surely the Vigil <coughs> can defend and this town without our help. I mean, we're just one person. So, we can do this, and the Vigil can no doubt be defending this town or whatever while we're doing it. They don't need our help to defend one location. Surely they have plenty of soldiers, and we can't need all of them. Do you go with the Order of Whispers? Yes, I do. We need to know where that soldier is headed. Excellent choice, Advocate. You'll be very pleased with your decision. I sure hope so. I'll be seeing you there, then. Strong Iron Dagger. Had a lot of experience. Let me see here. Let's take this dagger and put it in that slot. And my second one, I can have two daggers, I guess as opposed to a sword and a dagger in my primary one. <laughs> well now, it's time for us to head out. All the way down here, to over by the Overlake Haven Waypoint. I'm just glad there's a waypoint near the place. Makes it a lot easier, considering we'd just be traveling for a ridiculously long amount of time and maybe encountering two or three things to do. I mean, these encounters are cool, but when you, ne when you need to talk about them, like how I do with my Let's Plays, and the fact that there's so few of them and they're so spread out makes it a little difficult to do. Uh, I'm going in the wrong direction. That's kind of dumb of me. So let's get going again. And check and make sure I don't... Uh, yeah, repair my armor. Just to be on the safe side. And up there now. So I have to take another route for that. Yeesh. I'm just glad this isn't as convoluted as some destinations have turned out to be. Where I have to navigate like five different puzzles and kill a demon lord or something to find a map waypoint. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little, but some of these puzzles can be a little ludicrous. Like the ones for <coughs> finding it. <coughs> and I'm trying to find one so I can point at it. Finding those vistas. As you have to do some stupid navigation sometimes. Which can be a little on the annoying side. And it's part of the reason why 
I don't show me doing the map exploration because I get lost a lot. Ihan told me you'd be coming. He said to tell you that the bird flew from here to Black Haven. Does that mean anything to you? I get it. Thanks. I'll give him my regard. I'll give him your regards. And it's once again I'm going to teleport. So let's do it. Shark the Seraph. Hello, Agent. I hope this turns out to be worth it. <laughs> I like this guy. I really do. I mean, he's quite amusing for a spy. And I do enjoy that he actually makes the distinction between I actually don't know and I know but I can't tell you because secrets. I do like him making that distinction. It's quite nice. No. Where are these undead I'm supposed to be defeating? That's what we gotta find next. Probably somewhere along this road. see any undead attacking Haven and this is very annoying Climb up here and see if I can't spot something. Oh, there they are. Uh, took them long enough to show up. Uh, that took you guys a while. Where are the other undead? <coughs> I'd like to actually be defeating them consistently. Rather than just fighting one or two on and off until we manage to win.
defeat the undead. Well, of course, that requires me to find them first. Oh, I don't know how long it'll be. Who really knows? Now, I don't see any undead around here, which is very odd, and more than a little aggravating. But I'm going to keep at it. See then try the other side of the bridge, I guess. I don't see them. And I expected there to just be a bunch of undead throwing themselves at Black Haven. That does not appear to be the case. Uh, which is kind of irritating, considering they're actually making themselves difficult to find when they are supposed to be attacking. Which is bizarre in the extreme. Attacking would seem to imply they're actually attacking, but I don't see any attackers. Oh, there you are. Took you long enough. I guess they're just showing up bit by bit. I'm not really sure. It's kind of a strange way to do things, considering just throwing yourselves at us with numbers and essentially doing a zerg rush might produce better results, considering they're undead and can probably come back alive afterwards as well. Wait, abominations? Oh, great. I hate those things. <clears throat> and why is our shadowy assassin friend not helping? He's literally just standing there, or it was until a second ago, standing there basically doing fuck all. That was annoying. Hey, Ihan, I know you're a spy, not a frontline warrior, but when we're being attacked, how about you actually help? That would be nice, but we have a conversation to see too. Well, this just gets even more interesting by the second.
That's a bit of an understatement, honestly. It really is. <laughs> but yeah, I like mm, the way C uh, hey, Cora here thinks about dealing with this Kellogg also. It's definitely going <clears throat> to be interesting when we finally catch up with him. As I still have yet to decide exactly how we're going to brutally murder him. Let's make no mistake, he's going to die. If I have anything to say about it. Barring some sort of miracle. I just haven't decided exactly how we're going to kill him yet. Of course, there's my typical method involving a rusty spoon. But I'm not entirely certain how effective that would be be on an undead, considering they might not even feel pain, so carving out his organs with rusty and sharp objects might not be as effective as we'd like. And clearly, you have no respect for common sense. Now, what are you going to bitch about this time? Well, we're not going to be going for summoning the dead. That's just disturbing. Uh, and I'm afraid that we're more in line with the way uh, the Order of Whispers sees things than anything else. But tell me more about your plan. How do you intend to infiltrate? Alastia told her crew everything. The hard part will be gaining their trust, but I already have a plan. I guess he's not going to tell us. But very well, I'm ready to decide. <clears throat> Whatever Alastia was doing, it's the province of mortals, not gods. I'll go with you and infiltrate the pirates, because, quite frankly, I find the idea of summoning her spirit to be kind of disturbing, honestly. Excellent. I need to prepare. Meet me near the Lion Bridge Expanse, and we'll take it from there. All right, then. I will see you there. Let's see. What do I want? Penetrating mask, I guess. And that's a level up. And I'll take a sword of fire as well. <coughs> hmm, we're definitely not going to make it to level 40 before the end of this chapter, but 
Hopefully we'll get some of the way there. Uh, this penetrating mask. What does it look like? Eh, I don't like the way that looks. So for the time being, as much as the penetrating mask is the better choice, I'm going to stick for my subterfuge hood. Because I just like the hood better than anything else. I want to stay with a hood for as long as possible. Now, though, where do we go? <coughs> uh, our next destination is somewhere we do actually have to walk to, as it's in an area I have yet to explore. <coughs> so I'll travel to the closest waypoint, and then we'll have to walk the rest of the way. Exit this thing, and then get started on to our destination, I suppose. Which is in this direction. Hopefully it's actually there and isn't too far beyond that. But, interesting that we're finally getting into going places I haven't been before. I kind of like that. Oh, I stand corrected. Apparently this is just the <coughs> portal to the area we're headed to. Rather than being the actual place we're heading. For the, uh, if that made any sense at all. 